At noon on Saturday, we traveled to Nebraska to play the Cornhuskers. Kese Tominaga is one of the premier shooters in the Big Ten, and his energy is incredible. I still remember him and Bryce McGowan's tearing us apart at the end of the 2021 season, and knowing at that moment how special of a player Tominaga was going to be, I remember seeing Kebajai as having a recruiting visit during that game. It was the last home game of that 2021 season. Uh, they were making a big deal because it was John Harrer's last home game, and then we lost by 20 points to yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> yep. I remember watching that. That was sad. I had just got my wisdom teeth out, and I was sad enough as is, and then I see John Harrer crying on my TV screen. I'm like, all right. Oh, Not the man. way I wanted to spend my uh, whatever evening that was. I remember watching the warm-ups for that game and just being like, like, how is this Bryce McGowan's guy like not projected to be a first round pick? <laughs> and sure enough, you know he's doing th- some things in the NBA mm-hmm. right now. Uh, and then Kase Tominaga, that was like his coming out game. Yeah, like no, nobody was. was talking about him before that game, and he hit like a bajillion threes against us. It was like, oh, who's this random Japanese guy? Oh, he's not just some random Japanese guy. He's one of the next best shooters in the Big Ten. So. But yeah, Nebraska's a small team, one of the best long ball shooting teams in the country, and they have to shoot a lot in order to beat taller teams in the Big Ten. Because uh, this is not a tall basketball team. No. They're also very active on the defensive glass, which I just said they're not tall, but it's because you know when they limit, they limit opponents' second chances because they play with a lot of energy, and then when they get hot, they can just beat anybody. You know, they've had a lot of success at home this year, including a 16-point win over number one Purdue and an eight-point win over number six Wisconsin. However, I think Nebraska is one of our best matchups in the Big Ten. We have the size to win in the paint. We have the speedy guards to match up with their shooters. Ace Baldwin will be a major problem for Nebraska on both ends of the floor. I expect him to have a big game. Nebraska also turns the ball over quite a bit. I I could see them committing 15-plus turnovers easily. So... My prediction, Penn State 76, 68 Nebraska. I know Nebraska's been good at home this season. I know we have been bad on the road this season. <laughs> but you look at this matchup and you're like, huh, what if they can't guard Wahab down low? What if our perimeter defense is being a little annoying for them and they're not drilling a bunch of threes? You could easily see a game where we get some momentum and we take away their long ball and we just win this game and we grind it out. 